Hey guys, welcome to the Artisan channel. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Super Mario 64 port for Windows. This is a tablet called the Surface Pro 7 and we're going to play it on the Surface Pro 7 because it's nice and portable and I want to see how it works. And I have just played a, a little bit around with this uh, port. And it is awesome because you can put on top of the port uh, also HD uh, models and HD textures. So that's what I did from uh, what you saw just now, Render 96. Uh, they have some awesome stuff. And we're going to take a look at a couple of things. I have gotten six stars, but we're going to take a look at... Let's, let's just get to uh, 10 stars and then uh, maybe quit the video because this is more like showing showing off how nice this looks. Just look at Mario. That, that's just, that's just great. And it is very faithful to the uh, original game. So uh, look at those textures. So it's very faithful to the original game. Look at the Goombas. The Goombas also look awesome. All the all the things are just changed. We have the Koopa over here. Look at the Koopa. It also is HD. The big Koopa was also HD. I've just checked it out. But the small Koopa is just a small, smaller version of the Chain Chomp is HD. We're going to take this star. Sorry, Chain Chomp. And it also has some new shaders. As you can see, Chain Chomp is actually has a, uh, what you call it, uh, nice shaders on it. Mm -hmm. I always suck at this part. No, I'm not going to die like this. That's an, that's an embarrassing start of the video. No, we're not going to die. Okay. I refuse. I want to talk some more about the graphics, but... The chain chomp isn't giving me a chance. So uh, I'm currently doing like a casual video because we are having a drought of handhelds and emulation handhelds on the market right now. And I just want to show off some other stuff that uh, other technology is capable of doing. And this is just one of the videos that I'm going to show off about the Surface Pro 7 because I'm also going to upload uh, Wii U gameplay and stuff like that. It works really well, Wii U gameplay, by the way. And uh, I'm going to show off that kind of stuff also on the Service Pro 7. So if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. If you want to see more ports and stuff like that of games for uh, all kinds of platforms, and we're going to delve more into all kinds of platforms, iOS. I'm looking into iOS lately and also Android. I've also had some videos on Android emulation, stuff like that. And we're going to take a look at Windows as well. We got some interesting stuff. And I'm going to make more videos because we got a draught of handhelds and reviews. Because mostly I'm a review channel and right now I just want to do some gameplay and got some content to show off to you guys and have some more interaction and casual videos like these. Because otherwise we don't have any videos for a while because I was just concentrating on retro handhelds but we cannot do that. Because of, because of the drought in the market right now. So let me just... The, the, penguin, the penguin is also HD, by the way. But we can't see that better on the mother uh, down there. Oh, jeez. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's not a smart idea. Okay, let's just let's just take it easy. Yeah, there we go. We're not gonna die in the most embarrassing way in this video. We're going to triumph. I hope you guys like to see some uh, gameplay and stuff like that and me talking about all kinds of stuff on the channel. You can tell me what you think in the comments down below. And also, of course, uh, I forgot to mention that you guys are, of course, interested in how the frick this is possible. Now, I got some links in the description down below. Uh, of course, believe me that I got the links in the description because a lot of people are skeptical about links in the descriptions these days. I don't know. I've read some comments. And we got eight stars. 
uh, but uh, I'm gonna leave some links in the descriptions to the original websites where you got all the tutorials and you got the downloads for um, the uh, Super Mario 64 port as well as the Render 96 uh, uh, revamp of the game with the texture pack and stuff like that. It's pretty much a Discord server and the rest is quite easy. It's more like copy and paste and all the models are voila changed. Okay, I don't want to die because I mostly mess up because I get ahead of myself. And just look at the textures. The textures are gorgeous. It makes the game completely look different. And even though the edges of the models and the overworld are not really smooth or out or revamped, but you know, the rest is completely revamped and that gives it a nice touch. As well as the game is completely faithful to the original uh, Super Mario 64, so because it's a port. And how that is possible, the port, I think it is because there was a security breach and Nintendo lost a lot of, not didn't lose, but you know, a lot of data was released for public uh, use. <laughs> and people of course did not leave any grass grow on that. <laughs> they just got in there and made a port of Super Mario 64 with all the data that was uh, gathered and made stuff like this, which is great for us, but bad for Nintendo, I guess. But Look at Bowser, that is an HD model Bowser looking gorgeous here. Let's get it in one shot because I suck at this part. Oh, that was not the right way. Let's just do it like this. There we go. We got Bowser slouching. Let's take a look at the boss key. Jeez, that is a beautiful uh, shader on the boss key as well. It absolutely gives a different feel to the Super Mario 64 game. And we did not have a proper HD version of Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo Switch. Well, this makes up for that, so Nintendo shouldn't complain. I'm pretty sure they're trying to, to get those people behind this right now anytime soon. But it is... It is definitely uh, the port of Super Mario 64 is, uh, let's take a look at the boost. Uh, the port of Super Mario 64 is um, quite interesting because you have to build it yourself using a ROM, original ROM, official ROM of the Super Mario 64 port and then it turns it into a Super Mario 64 game for uh, Nintendo 64 in Z64 format. And what the freak is this? I just was running around and talking about stuff, but this is something I don't recognize. Ah, nothing really happened. What is the boards over here? I think there were two as well. Luigi tips. Doesn't say anything about this, I suppose. So that's about boost. And this one should be about jumping, I think. Uh, body slides. All right. Yeah. So I don't know what that is. I'm going to leave it in the uh, bottom of the screen here if I know and found out what that is. Uh, but I currently don't know what that is. Let's open the door. And take a look at the volcano environment in the game. Look at the shaders on the lock. That is beautiful. That is not available in the original game. The textures and... I think it's called Fong or something like that, those maps, Fong maps for uh, the shininess of certain uh, objects. It's very beautiful. What is that? But everything is HD. I never saw that in the original game or maybe I was blind, I don't know. I haven't played Super Mario 64 for a long time. Uh, except in uh, on my portable devices, but not really concentrated on all the environments and stuff like that on the small screen. But having this HD version, I probably recognize some other stuff that I never really realized was there. I think this is 30 FPS, not 60 FPS, but you know, that's sufficient. Swimming Beast in the Cavern, I am interested if that is HD as well. 
how do I get there? I don't remember. Okay, that's a bad start. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do it properly this time. If you're interested in the Service Pro 7 and emulation and stuff like that in general, I'm gonna do a lot more videos on the Service Pro 7 and uh, in the future. If you came here for the Service Pro 7, welcome. If you came here for Super Mario 64, also you're welcome because <laughs> it is something that is awesome and new uh, currently. I came across this a while back and I was mind blown by how well done this is. This is ideal. Let me get some coins to stay alive. So after this star, we're going to call it a day because I don't want it to be too long of a video for you guys. And I think I said a lot of stuff already. <laughs> so uh, if you're interested in these types of videos and want to see more, then definitely feel free to like the video and tell me what you think in the comments down below. As well as subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'm going to upload more videos, guys, so uh, be excited for the future because right now I'm not really restrained by the uh, amount of handhelds in the market because I used to do more reviews on handhelds, if you don't know, and stuff like that. But now I'm doing some something a little bit different, and I hope you enjoy it. So tell me what you think in the comments down below because I am not sure how this will be received by you guys. I, I think it's refreshing. I'm having a great time making this video. So if you guys enjoy that as well, that would be great. So that is it for today, guys. This is Super Mario 64 port uh, with uh, HD textures and HD models for all the uh, models in the game except the overworld. And... Thanks a lot to the people over at Render96 for making this awesome mod for the game. And I'm going to play this game a lot more in my free time. Oh, that is different. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this port as well. I leave the link in the description down below. You can find out how to get this done. Uh, not really that difficult in my opinion. Uh, but uh, just I'll leave everything in the description down below for you guys to know how to do this. And I'm going to enjoy this game and suck at it some more in my free time. So take care, guys. Stay safe. Hope you're having a good time at home. And hope that you guys are safe and stay safe for the rest of the time coming. And stay tuned for the next video. So like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.